Hello, my name is Jean and I am a knitter. <sighs> so I was trying to figure out what project I was going to do next, but my husband had come down to Virginia where I am from where we used to be in Wisconsin and was visiting. I had an absolutely wonderful almost week spending time talking with him, planning with him, running around taking care of errands. He fixed a few things that needed repair. Um, we did minimal shopping because both of us are trying to downsize. And I got rid of two of my older sewing machines because I traded them in to buy a new one that's top of the line. Um, yes, I do also sew. Some of the clothes that I wear are clothes that I have sewn, but I am a knitter. I decided I was going to use the yarn that I had that is uh, Rainbow Beach from Queensland. And I had originally started making socks with it and I loved the color changes. So I said, I will expand my skill set. I will work on my circular shorty needles. You can't even see these, can you? Well, there they are. I can measure them and I can tell you that this particular pair of needles from tip to tip, completely assembled with the cable, measures nine inches long. So I cast on and I started knitting and the pattern was going to be too big for my foot. I know, 64 stitches fits my foot she had me working on 78. These things were going to be large enough for my husband and he doesn't like this color. <laughs> now, I said, I still want to learn how to use these little teeny tiny needles, but you can also get them in larger sizes. Can you see? No, you can't. There you can. They're a little bit longer. Uh, there, that's the even comparison. Well, okay, but the cable was still too short for what I wanted to do. It, it, the longer tip meant that the cable wouldn't come together in a circle because the cable wasn't long enough to go all the way around. Oh, great. Well, <clears throat> I went up. Not only do I have the itsy bitsy ones that start at like size zero, I have the larger set. These are chow goos. And they go up to a five millimeter or size eight. Um, I have the itsy bitsy short, short cables on these, but I also have a slightly longer cable for these. Now, the interesting thing is these, uh, this is a twist flex cable and they are in three different lengths. This twist flex cable is blue. Most Chagu cables are red. Well, no, other Chowgu cables are red. And what I love about Chowgu cables is they don't remember. I have fond memories of setting up a bowl full of boiling hot water and dipping my plastic cables in so that they would soften up and I could pull them out straight and then I could use them to knit with. Yes, remember when they would remember where you wound them up into a ball to store them? Yeah. Um, these don't remember. <laughs> but I have a longer set. 
Now, the larger diameter tips are about a quarter of an inch longer on both the shorty and the long. They're just a little bit longer. So I went to the longest size shorty, if that makes any sense, that I've got. And I set up a pair of knitting needles or a set of cable needles that is much longer than the other ones. These are, oh goodness, I would say 14 inches around. And the length here is long enough because I actually do a lot of controlling of the knitting needle in the pinky and ring fingers of my right hand. Well, I started knitting and I realized that because I'd gone larger, obviously I'm not going to knit socks. I don't like Magic Loop, never have, just drives me nuts, don't know why, but it does. And I remember telling people that you could use Magic Loop back in the 80s and they all looked at me like I was crazy because we didn't have good cables back then. We had okay tips, maybe, I remember a lot of plastic ones, but we didn't have good cables, so you couldn't get a good, and the length and the extra length, and people were like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Well, now everybody's doing it. Um, this is a one skein wonder. I've made one before in a gray, and I really, really like it because it just wraps around my neck and keeps my neck warm as if I'm in a turtleneck, but it's not a turtleneck. It's a fashion accessory. Um, so I'm knitting this one skein wonder, which is kind of mindless knitting because you knit one stitch and knit front back. And then you knit all the way across because it's garter stitch. And then you're either binding off three stitches because it's a stair step, if you can see that. No, you can't. Let's see, move it here. Hold it up. It makes a stair step on this side. So you're binding off three stitches or you are slipping the first stitch. But even on this side, the stitch after your bind off or slip is a knit front, knit back. So you are increasing on both sides, but not necessarily evenly, which causes the shape. And it's a really convenient, lovely shape for winding. And then you get this little tiny tail that you can tuck in and it holds the whole thing in place without a shawl pin. Um, I cannot use the itsy bitsy ones yet because of how I hold my needle. But on the shorter ones with the tip that is three and one quarter inches before the actual cable starts, I can, I have enough, I'm learning to use my ring finger more than my pinky finger, and I'm working on it. Is it going quickly? Well, no, because <laughs> I have other things to do right now, and I cannot spend all day sitting and knitting. Um, I am continuing my downsize. I've gotten a little more aggressive in my downsizing. And um, I'm also working with my husband much more uh, intensely. Let me just knit. And we are... going to be moving. Um, He's already moved once this year. I've already moved once this year. I am going to end up moving twice in the same year. So that's a bit of a struggle. And I got a new laptop, which is working on a different operating system. Um, I've been a Windows girl since, oh, the 80s. But I've moved. I've gone to the dark side. I bought a Mac. And 
I know things that can be done, but I don't know how to do them. So that's my struggle. So I've just bound off three, I hope. Yes. And now I knit front, I knit back, and then I just knit to the end of the row. It's that simple. Um, and every row that I start here starts with knit one, knit one front, back. It's that simple. Um, but moving two times in one year is not going to be easy, but we are <sighs> planning because he's moving for his job, his employer is supporting us somewhat through the move, so I'm not going to be required to pack everything I own all by my lonesome, and I we will have professional packers and movers, and I've moved that way, and it's really nice. Um, I have two sisters. Both are older than I, and they don't, uh, the eldest had a time when they were moving rather frequently, but they've settled into a uh, Victorian and they've been there for a long time and I don't think they're planning on moving. Um, Gail moved a couple times, but they had their house custom built and They've got a lot of land and they're not budging. Um, I'm the one that moves a lot. Um, this also means that I'm the one who has had the most reduction in stuff that I own because at a certain point you realize, I'm not gonna move this. It's not worth the work to pack it up. Or you realize, I haven't touched this since the last time I moved. I don't need to keep it. Um, so all y'all that is sedentary, yes, enjoy being sedentary and not moving. And sometimes I wish I could do that, but I actually like the idea of getting rid of things that I don't use, don't want, don't need and only keeping the things that <clears throat> bring me joy. <laughs> but it's true. I've decided the things that I really like to do, yeah, I'll go for that, I'll stash those. I'm not getting rid of a single book about knitting, but some of the other stuff, yeah, it can go. I am continuing to knit and I'm using some knitting to help me relax and calm down and reduce the stress of moving because this time I'm not moving halfway across the country. I'm moving all the way across the country. Well, not to California, but pretty much all the way across the country. And that's going to be different, but it's always different and sometimes different is a whole lot better. So I'm hoping that it's going to be better. And if you hope it and expect it, a lot of times it turns out exactly the way you wanted it because you work to make it come out the way you hope it will come out. And you take the steps you need to take to make your life work. <sighs> I'm still knitting, you keep knitting. <laughs>